now i am going to hello now i am going to demonstrate uh, yagiwood antenna design <coughs> by using emq software uh, this is our problem conception design steps for yagi antenna uh, we are going to design this yagiwood antenna this is your driven element reflector these are actually the director the spacing between this uh, reflector and the driven element is 0.25 lambda and uh, the driven element spacing is uh, 0.34 lambda uh, this is equal space yagiwood antenna that's why this all distances are equal related with 0.34 the length of this uh, antenna is uh, basically dipole is 0.47 into lambda 0 Reflector length is 0 0.5 into lambda 0 and director is 0 0.406 into lambda 0. So first we will calculate for uh, uh, 1 gigahertz frequency. So this is my frequency 1 gigahertz. Wavelength is 300 millimeter. So length of D1 element is 0 0.47 into lambda. So approximately 141 mm. Length of reflector is 150 mm length of director is 121 mm separation distance is 75 mm and uh, separation distance between reflector to driven element is 102 mm so same uh, these dimensions we are going to put in the our software em cube uh, libra model uh, now just this is icon double click on the icon so this is our em cube okay so here is the libra uh, em libra mom method <coughs> so click on this so this is your project browser here is your uh, millimeter dimension grid spacing is 5 your uh, frequency is 1 gigahertz okay bandwidth is 1 gigahertz also if you want to change you can type here 2.4 gigahertz likewise but we are going to design for 1 gigahertz okay then uh, so the next is the first step is insert new PEC so PEC basically perfect electric conductor this is the material useful for our uh, uh, Yagiwuda antenna and here as you can see the diameter of that uh, uh, pool or the all the directors and re uh, reflectors so first we will uh, uh, click on the, our dipole or driven element okay now I set it here so I go to this uh, I required actually driven element size is driven element size is 141 so we will keep uh, 140 and this is 0 this is uh, minus 90 and uh, now you can visualize this is the red colors coming on the screen okay and you can put here this minus 70 so exactly it comes in the middle side so minus 70 minus 90 for straight and this is 140 so exactly half of the distance say okay now your uh, driven element is ready so you can also place a name like uh, driven a underscore element and click ok so the next step is again we have to draw a reflector so almost in the same axis we are going to draw so first we will put uh, reflector and uh, here is minus 90 minus 70 but here distance is 150 so naturally this half of the distance is 75 so rest of the things are constant uh, but uh, you have to space with some uh, separation the separation between the reflector and driven element is a 75 mm so again we go in this x direction make minus 75 click on ok so here you can see this uh, 
on the screen you can see this reflector is also coming this is driven element then the next uh, again one more pc we can draw we name as director and uh, spacing is uh, spacing is 102 mm and the length is almost uh, 120 okay so length is 120 spacing is uh, spacing your is 102 actually uh, here you can put uh, minus 60 exactly half of this so it comes in the middle side and click uh, ok so when you do this this is the only one director you can have a copy actually five elements so right click it say array so when you click on the array or uh, so it asks how many number of elements you required so this side we required z one element one element here we require naturally four element with the spacing of uh, 102 there is no spacing there is no spacing here also so you can click ok and be sure that ok one two three three are the poles this is the actual reflector and uh, here is the array of uh, uh, directors comes in the pictures three elements so the next setting is called as a mesh settings so generally we will put mover number of mesh 50 lambda is uh, having greater accuracy if you go for the 10 is giving very small accuracy so instead of that go for the 50 uh, and say apply ok so now this next step is to get the gap sowers insert the gap sowers here the driven element automatically list is there but we have to select a driven element uh, exactly at the middle side you will get the excitation so here is your excitation driven element excitation uh, next is uh, you have to this in the observation sides I want to observe the far field pattern right click it and click on insert radiation pattern so just uh, directivity front to back ratio also I record half power beam weights ok so click ok then the, you can also see in this uh, current distribution insert new observables wire or uh, wire we can just just say okay also you can excite uh, port definitions port definition here actually s11 or return loss or vsw or all the data you can say just click on okay there is no entry nothing say just okay after that uh, you can also put on field observation sensors in the x direction or in the y direction but we will keep at uh, y direction this direction so you can see this this is the square what I am putting but uh, I just increase the size uh, the size is almost uh, 500 okay not this side okay so I will put uh, 150 uh, and here is the size is uh, 600 almost so I, I I will going to I'm going to cover entire things number of samples we are going to increase 20 samples at least at least 20 samples so we will get uh, exact direction coefficient cone a field data we want to going to be observed and say okay okay so uh, now our system is ready now is our system is ready okay this pole is Okay, we are putting like this way. Okay, no problem. You can go here and edit your sensor. Otherwise, uh, say run. After saving this, you just click on the run. Say analysis button and say run. Yes. So now it is analyzing the things. Okay, my simulation is finished. Okay. Now say close. 
go for this pattern now you can visualize here the 5.55 db directivity uh, you are getting out of this antenna you have a very good back lobes are there a small but there is lobes uh, naturally their beam width is uh, too much bigger you have to increase the number of elements uh, so next is you can uh, go in this uh, here em cube sensor okay so here you can see this uh, current distribution field sensor this is the e total energy is there h magnetic energy is there you can look here in the direct reflector side is almost energy is there and he sent to driven element and also the directors also is giving the same energy and you can see this pattern from the sides and you can visualize the pattern is more directive okay we go for in the multiple screen here we can see here the back lobe we go for okay one front lobe and this this pictures you can easily observe basically uh, the directivity pattern okay sorry is going to be restart so this is the actually radiation pattern of the yagyu antenna thank you